Hello everyone and welcome to a new series. This is Road to Minecraft 113 commands. So what are we going to do is pretty self-explanatory. We're going to go through all the commands and all the changes that uh, are being introduced in Minecraft 113. So as far as I checked, um, it seems like all the commands have been changed and uh, most of the important ones uh, have different functionalities and I feel like there is not a, a lot of documentation or it's not very well explained. So I'm gonna go through all of that and I'm gonna try to explain to you guys easily. So now I'm gonna be releasing more episodes as Snapshots comes out or the full version of Minecraft 113 which seems to be still a bit far away. So um, yeah, let's talk about the first big change that uh, is the base of everything here on this new version, which is block IDs. So block IDs are basically the identifier uh, for each block, uh, and the, and the game will use that uh, name to refer to the that specific block or item. So uh, as you can see here on my F3 screen, uh, on the top right. You'll see crafting table, Minecraft crafting table. That's the block ID of this one, and um, we're gonna see that. Well, this is an old one. Nothing has changed about this one, but most of the uh, stained or colored blocks have been changed, or things that had states before, or that had um, data values or damage values. If you already uh, familiar with all of that and things like wool had 16 other uh, values data values to specify the colors now each color has its own id as you can see here white wool magenta yellow wool etc uh, same happened with concrete concrete powder uh, terracotta stained glass etc etc and also things like uh, grass and grass path are now separate uh, grass and uh, tall grass fern which we have here fern and a large fern have been uh, separated to carpets colors uh, from different colors I mean <laughs> pumpkin uh, cart pumpkin jack-o-lantern they all have different IDs and uh, that is going to be huge because you're gonna need to learn or relearn all of that. One way uh, you can check all of that is uh, pressing F3 and H, and I'm gonna show you, it will enable your tooltips. So tooltips shown, and you go to the creative menu, and you're gonna see all the blocks, and now underneath the name, you're gonna see the block ID. So now it's easy to uh, see which uh, which or what is the ID from each block. For example, um, slabs used to share one or two um, items and they had data values that will uh, identify the top slab, the bottom slab and uh, all the types. It was a pain to use that in commands. And now they all have their own ID, which is great. You also have smooth stone, <laughs> which is basically two slabs uh, on top of each other. Okay, so um, now you know how to get some of the block IDs. Also, you can um, use commands. You can give yourself maybe, and you can have this autocomplete feature that's gonna show you all the IDs if you want something made of let's say spruce you have spruce bark, boat, button, door, fence, etc etc so let's say uh, we have we want a uh, trapdoor and uh, I didn't press tab sorry that's my bad trapdoor tab <laughs> and there we have it so yeah it's a bit confusing that uh, interface but it works. Uh, so um, 
One other thing that has been changed, all of those data values we talked about to give uh, colors to one block uh, or a type have been removed, That uh, those data values. Also, damage values, which is something that heads used to use, have been removed. Now, each head has its own ID. And now we have also, since those have been removed, now we have a new thing that is called properties that, uh, as you can see in this one, it has rotation, that's its property. So that is a new thing that have been introduced into the game to replace all of those uh, things. And the way uh, you handle all of this is um, the notation in, in the command is with the item. So if you write the item and then in brackets the property you, you're gonna have it uh, one thing that also has been introduced and I'm gonna give myself that item is the debug stick the debug stick what it does is change those properties so if you click you can see rotation selected if you right click you change that property to whatever I am um, values are available you cannot go uh, they are predefined values so you cannot uh, do anything crazy in this case, let's see, it has four. If you right click, you're going to see that now it's open. If you shift, uh, if you click first facing and now shift click because the right click will open or close. If you shift right click, you're going to change the facing um, property to others available. So this is all about uh, block IDs. Now we're going to use all of these IDs in future uh, episodes and also in any command that you see out there for Minecraft 113 uh, onwards. Uh, so let me know if you want to know about a certain command earlier, because I'm going to go, I'm going to try to have some uh, order and I don't know, a sequence of, of things that will make sense because they are dependent on each other. The the everyone every single command uh, depends on block IDs, so that's why I started with this one. And well, you let me know, and I'll try to uh, prioritize that one, that command that you are interested. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.